Love and Hip Hop New York Season 5 Episode 1, okay? Don't worry, I will definitely hook y'all up with the link to the full episode when it is available. It will be down below in the description box. Until then, it will say review. If it doesn't say review, then the link should be available. Alright? So go ahead, hit your girl up with the like, because I'm always trying to hook y'all up with these episodes. I don't try to force y'all to watch this review. If you want to watch it, then you can watch it. If you don't, you don't. Um, this shit in the back, I'm moving, okay? So don't trip. You know, some of y'all some smart asses, alright? Mm-hmm. I'm moving, so don't trip about that. Anyways, let's get into it. So first off, it's Mr. Peter Guns and Amina Butterfly. Okay, so Miss Amina is now five months pregnant, and they are going to the doctors to see how, you know, not how far along she is, but to see what's the sex of the baby. And she wants it to be a girl, and he wants it to be a boy. And it's like, for what? Like, you got all them damn kids, and you got plenty of boys. All right, what the hell do you need? You know, let her have her girl. All right, so they get in there, and... He start looking at the so ultrasound, and he's talking about some, yeah, that's, see, that's, yeah, that's a boy. He got a big old thing like his daddy. Anyways, and she's like, huh, and then the doctor's like, well, that's his, the, um, the leg right there. That's the baby's leg, and that's the genital. Okay, that's the genital area, and this is a girl, and she's like, oh, yes. She's like, okay, so now we're having a girl, and I just, you know, once you, you know, the baby gets here, I need, how does, how does she talk? I need you to be, you know, at home more. I mean, you go and you, you drop your son off at school, and, you know, you leave in the morning, and I don't see you till late at night. Amina. Sweetie, know your worth. Okay, this, this, this nigga is not, come on now, we know what the fuck Peter do. Okay, Peter, he got multiple holes. He said he's never been monogamous. He don't know how to do that. All he ever done was have a family here and have a family there. Okay, we know that because Tara ass used to be a damn side chick too while she wanted to climb Amina's. Because that's how she got him. Okay, he had a family, and she knew it, and she went and fucked around with him anyways, and then she came the same situation that, you know, his last baby mama was in. And now, you know, she looking at Amina, pissed off, when you done did the same shit she did. But she got a ring for it. Mm, okay, next. Amina's talking about how she... You know, if she can't meet the son, she can't meet the boys, she don't want, you know, her daughter going to see, going over Tyra's house. Basically, you know, fucking Peter is trying to come up with any excuse. Well, what if I take the baby with me so they can in interact with the um, my son? She was like, no, if I can't see your sons, he can't see, you know, she can't be around my daughter. And he's like, come on now, and, He's like, all right, you're going to have to give me some time to, you know, try to ease Tara up on it. I just need, I mean, it be patient. I need Tara to buzz just a little bit. Good luck with that, boo. Okay. Anyways, next, so it's Erica and Miss Sin Santana. And Erica's lighting, you know, candles and shit like that. She fixing, seeing some breakfast, I guess, and she tells her, you know, this is, I'm with the person I need to be with. This is great. You know, I just love her. And then she goes and asks, you know, Sin. Sin is like, what do you want, Erica? She was like, no, I just love you. You know, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. And, you know, Sin, Sin is like, oh, okay, well, that's so sweet. <laughs> and then she was like, I want you to move in with me. And Sin's like, I knew you wanted something. And she was like, yeah, just, I, I really want you to move in with me. And Sin's like, okay, but Erica, you can have to get your shit together. You can't be pulling the same stunts that you've been doing, you know, if I'm moving in with you. And she's like, what are you talking about? And she was like, you kissing Bow Wow. And then they show Clipper, Erica kissing Bow Wow on 106 and Part Now. We now know. 
Erica and Bawa is engaged. Okay. Erica can't be, I mean, this is just, this show just full of a bunch of ain't shit people. I'm sorry. That's just what it is. Okay, because Erica can never be faithful. Now, I done watched some interviews. Erica done been through some shit in her life. That, you know, that could have started her being fucked up. But Erica, okay, when you start getting good people around you, you start being in a relationship with somebody and they are treating you well. Why are you doing them so fucking bad? Really? And then you complain about how, how much love you want and, and this. And then the person that's giving you the love. And and then you go back to the old motherfucker and talk about, I want the love, you know, that my new girl is giving me. I want that from you. What the fuck is wrong with you? Anyways. So next is Miss Yandy. Now, Yandy is going to meet up with Mendeecees because Mendeecees is now coming out of jail. So, she goes meet up with him. She jumps on him. And I'm like, yes, girl, just go jump on your man, girl. You ain't seen him in so long. And Mendeecees got some pearly white-ass teeth that just be coming out of jail, okay? His teeth, his, he got perfect teeth, but them bitches was pearly white, okay? They was looking real nice. So after that, I guess the next day or whenever, Yandy is with little Mendeecees, and she's asking, you know, Mendeecees, little Mendeecees about the, I guess his little birthday party, whatever he wants, and who all he wants to invite, and he's like, I want to invite you, Yandy. I want my mom to be there. I want my grandma. She's like, yeah, of course your mom and your grandma. I want my brothers to be there, and he was like, she was like, no, no. He was like, yeah, oh, okay, okay. And she was like, yeah, Amira's going to tear it up. <laughs> Something I also found out last year. I hope they got, you know, they shit, you know, situated. But Yandy, according to Mendeecees, you know, baby mama, little Mendeecees mama, Yandy was a side chick, okay, who just ended up, you know, getting the ring and stuff. Because Mendeecees got a baby, another son, that's a month older than Omir, which is Yandy's son. Okay, yes, there's a lot of bullshit going on in this Love and Hip Hop franchise, but good thing that Yandy and Mona is like this, okay? So they're not going to show Yandy in a bad light, which I, I don't mind. I don't think Yandy's a bad person, but I guess she just... People make fuck up decisions. Everybody not necessarily bad, but people make fucked up decisions. We'll say that. So, she's end up talking to him, and then next thing you know, Mendeecees ends up tapping him on the finger, and that was the first time little Mendeecees saw his dad, and he just lit up, and he was like, <gasps> and he ran to him, and he was like, Dad! I missed you. And he's like, man, this is like, why are you crying? He's like, because I missed you so much. I was like, oh, little tear. Now, even though I will say this, that part was scripted as fuck. Let me tell y'all why. When Yandy was walking with man DC's, Yandy had a belly on her stomach. You know, she had a belly. And that looked like a pregnant belly. And we now know that Yandy is pregnant, okay? Now, if Mendeecees had just came out of jail, why is he just not seeing his son? And why are you, I mean, not not that, but if he had just came out of jail and just saw his his son, why is Yandy already showing in that scene? Like, she's probably like four or five months, but she's showing. Okay, that, that shit wouldn't, someone write about that. Y'all let me know if y'all peeped that out, that little pregnant belly that she was walking out with. Anyways. Alright, so next is a new cast member, which is Diamond Strawberry. Now, Diamond Strawberry is the daughter of Daryl Strawberry, the athlete. And basically, she lives in L.A. She's, you know, an expiring model. And she wants to move to New York. And she's also dating somebody who lives in New York. And it's a producer. His name is Cisco. And. 
Okay. She is... I just see this as being another sad case. Cisco, whatever, is in L.A. for a few days. He comes to visit. He lets her know, I'm all yours. When I'm not working, I'm all with you. She's like, great. You know, I want to move to New York. I, th- I feel like we should move together. We've been in, you know, a relationship for two years. It's so hard being with, you know, in a relationship that's 3,000 miles apart. And he's like, nah, but I don't, you know. I don't feel like we should just do that just yet. Just move. And really what it is, and what he ends up, you know, saying in his little one-on-ones, is that, you know, when I'm with L.A., Diamond is the only girl. When I'm not, and I'm, you know, I'm just her part-time man, Diamond don't know who the fuck I am, okay? Because I'm out, 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 out here doing me, okay? I'm doing whatever the fuck I please. I got plenty of hoes. All right, basically is what he's saying. Diamond, you can do better, okay? We Why can't we get some good men on Love & Hip Hop New York? Like, really? He says that Diamond is a, uh, you know, a good girl, and he's just, he's wild. You know, when I'm in L.A., I'm with her. When I'm not, I'm not, okay? We kind of got a don't ask, don't tell situation. Okay, she don't ask, and I don't tell. And and this child is in here thinking, okay, well, we've been together for two years. I'm going to move to New York. This relationship is going to get more serious. We're going to move in together. He is not trying to have that. Okay, he likes this long distance relationship because it works for him. It's convenient for him. Okay, and anytime a long distance relationship is convenient for you, that's a problem. Anyways, I'm gonna say this, girl, move on. That's all we're gonna really talk about them. He seemed like it. Well, he is an ain't shit dude, and this she's gonna end up moving and leaving her daughter until she can send for her daughter you better hope that going to new york for molly is your main focus because this dude is not it you're gonna get there you're gonna be disappointed as fuck because he's just you know you just you know you're a part-time girlfriend to him basically you know he ain't serious there's some dudes i mean i can't even say you know, moving there right away is a mistake. Not only, you know, because you don't really know him, but you could be with somebody for a long time. They could be like, you know, living a double life. Okay, there's plenty of Papa's was the Rolling Stones out here, all right? But this ain't it, boo. You're going to have to move on. All right. So next is Peter and Tara. Tara is working out with um, Yandy's cousin, Maurice. Y'all remember when Mendeecee snatched Maurice up, talking about he was on his girl. <laughs> you on my girl too much. Where this cousin come from? That shit was funny as hell. I, <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody get jealous of that, you know, of that girl's cousin. But he says Maurice just popped up out of nowhere. But anyways, she's working out. That's not her new personal um trainer. And Peter shows up to, you know, take the boys for a haircut. So while they're getting ready, Peter's like, look, I need to tell you this. So I find out she's having a girl. And so I was like, and what the fuck that got to do with me? And he's like, look, um, I would like for the boys to meet her when she gets here. And she's like, no, that's, you know, that's that's going to be a problem. Okay. You you expect me to be cool with that? Are you serious? And he's like, yeah, you know, they're basically they siblings. They need to, you know, try to work out a relationship. She's like, no, I would never fuck that. You know, I'm not cool with that, any of that. And girl, I don't blame you on on that, but the siblings do meet do need to meet each other. So, I mean. It's fucked up said it it was your karma, but it was. I mean, he had a family when you got with him. Anyways, so next, we're talking about Yandy. Yandy throws Mendeecee a party, a welcome home party. She got everybody there, Rich, 
Um, who's else there? Raquel from a couple of seasons ago. Um, everybody was there. Fuck it. Everybody I can fucking remember. I, I don't even. Chrissy, the new chick, is there. Matter of fact, I forgot to tell you about Chrissy. Now, Chrissy is this chick. <sighs> I'm sure y'all heard Twitter calls her, you know, Dragon Tail Lady or whatever it is. Chrissy is this chick. She is managers of models in New York. She used to, she says allegedly she used to run an escort business. Okay, bitch, how you gonna tell on yourself? Allegedly, I do this and be, be damn, you know, bragging about the shit. Are you serious? So, Chrissy is with Chick Santana. Now, when he walked in, I said, is that Chick? Do y'all remember Chink Santana from damn Kishi Cole's video, I Should Have Cheated? He looked good on that video. Now, on here, I was like, is that Chink? What the fuck? Damn, you got old. <laughs> you got old. You supposed to wait. What the fuck happened to you? Wow. Okay. So, Chink walks in, and they're sitting and talking about their relationship that she wants more of a commitment. He's been living in D.C. Of course, Chink is a producer. He used to produce for Ashanti, Keisha Cole, Ja Rule, whatever. So, so artist now. But anyway, I'm just playing, y'all. I'm just playing. They just ain't had a hit in a minute. But anyways, Chink is like, you know, I'm going to move up here to New York. And Chris is like, well, that's good, but I want a commitment. And I'll, next, I want you to get this divorce. And he's like, look. All right, me and her have an understanding that it's it's over, but a divorce ain't gonna be so easy right now. It's gonna take a while because she don't want to sign papers. I don't, you know, it's just gonna take a while. I just appreciate the fact that I'm moving to New York for your ass, okay? And I'm moving on, and she needs to move on too. All right, but we got kids, and shit ain't gonna be so easy. <sighs> you damn women in these fucking shows. Y'all are getting on my nerves with this shit. Come on, now. Everybody got to ain't. Why can't one of y'all have a good man on this damn, like, loving hip-hop? Really? It's sad. Anyways. So she's like, yeah, we together, whatever. But, you know, you moving here. But I still want you to get a divorce. He's like, look, you're going to have to be patient, basically. So, okay. So go back to the the... Um, and DC's welcome home party, which is you know congratulating Man DC. They taking shots or whatever. He starts to walk out because he got to handle business. He ends up seeing Chrissy. Now he know Chrissy, and Chink is you know Chrissy is Chink's girl. He's all about the business. He's you know say what up to her. She's like hey, and he's like yeah you always got some bad bitches with you when I see you. And she was like, yeah, I keep the bad, the best bad bitches in town. Now, I don't know about you, but them chicks weren't looking too hot. I'm, I'm sorry. Mm, mm -mm. Anyways, so he's like, yeah, I know you do your, your little modeling, you know, managing models or whatever, but I got something coming up. I got some, a new liquor line or whatever. Basically, he needs some uh, some models. So she's like, yeah, you know, that's all good, but you know what? You sleep with the fucking enemy, though. And he was like, what are you talking about? She was like, Erica, you know, I can't fucking stand that bitch Erica. She used to work for me. He's like, she used to work for you. Yeah, she used to be an escort. He's like, what? Is you serious? You said er Erica used to be an escort. And she was like, yeah, that bitch used to, you know, fucking sleep in my, on my couch, live in my house, wear my clothes, and she used to be a fucking escort for me. And now when I see her at the damn club, this bitch try to act like she don't know me, and then be in the back with her girls, you know, talking shit about me. So you know what? When I see that bitch Erica, it's on. Already, I'm not feeling this shit. You just too fucking turned up. You just, I'm, mm, 
maybe she'll grow on me. Maybe. You know, because sometimes you just got to give people a chance. But I'm not feeling your ass, boo. So, anyways. She, you know, he goes and tell her, look, I ain't seen Erica in five months. All right? Be honest with you. She's like, what? He's like, yeah, I ain't seen her in five months, so Erica is not going to be a problem. She's like, all right, we'll do it then. Love it. I can't believe shit on Love and Hip Hop. Let me tell y'all this. Side note. I was watching uh Vlad TV or something, YouTube, and they was interviewing uh, Rich, and Rich was talking about how he never shot a scene with Erica, and he ain't seen her in over a year. Keep that in mind. We're going to go back to it. Anyways, so after that, um, Rich and Chrissy, they do a little casting call. And, um, somehow, he started talking about Erica, and, you know, she's like, why would you bring her up? She's like, look, he's like, look, all right, I got a call from Erica, her, well, her managers, saying that I owe her some money about a fucking song. So, you know, I invited her here, not here in this room, but I invited her to this building, so we can sit there and talk about it. So I can just tell her what, what's really up with it. And she's like, Rich, why would you do that? Okay, I don't understand. Why would you do that? Why would you invite this bitch in the building knowing that I'm going to fuck her up? You know we got problems. <sighs> Chill, old lady. Chill. The fuck is wrong with you, bitch? You like 50. Chill the fuck out. Anyways. He like, look. Look, I'm sorry, but I, I I just had to talk to her. It it was business, so I just got to explain this to her. You know, it ain't going to be long. Go down and talk to her. He's like, all right. Next thing you know, he gets a text. She's downstairs. He's like, look, she's down there. I'm going to go talk to her real quick. And she's like, look, you hurry it up. Keep it quick. I don't want to have to come down there and get you, okay, because I don't want to have to see her ass. And... He's like, all right. So he goes down there. He like, what's up, Erica? And she's like, hey, you know, what's what's been going on? He's like, I've been getting, you know, phone calls from your people saying, I owe you money. She was like, yes, Rich. When I came here, okay, I expected people to, you know, to try to do me wrong, but I never, I never expected that from you, Rich. And Rich already said that Erica's gonna play the damn victim role will turn up, so he was going to explain this to her calmly about, you know, the business situation. And he's like, listen, Erica, okay, I know you didn't know everything about what's going on, but when I was with you when we made the records, you were my girl. I did that out of love. I'm in the red from the records, okay? And she's like, yeah, okay, you may be in the red, but you're still wrong. Like, why didn't you tell me? Like, why didn't you tell me? I don't know nothing about the money. I don't know how the the business works. I know nothing about it. Why Why didn't you tell me? He's like, look, Erica, we made nothing from them songs. Bitch, why don't you get that? Okay, you made no money from them songs. Nobody bought it, boo. You should have put, I hell, I picked up a damn music business book, okay? You should have picked that up. You got to know, shit got to be paid first before you can make a profit, all right? And that's what it was. Nobody, if two people bought them damn songs, okay, you know that. Studio recording, okay, editing, paying the editor, paying all this shit, gonna cost more than them two people that purchased your song off iTunes, all right, ho? So let's 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 use a clear mind. But I'm glad that you didn't turn up. So Chrissy is like, man, fuck this. I don't deal with, you know, people just running out on me on business. He's he lucky I love him like a brother. Really? You love him like a brother? She goes downstairs and Erica is like, no. She goes downstairs, she's like, Rich, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Erica was like, hey, we're handling business. Hey, how are you? She was like, oh, really, bitch? Really? She's like, bitch. She's like, really? You know, I don't know you. Like, what? What? What are you 
you talking about? She's like, yeah, bitch, you know what it is. Okay, you know what it is. And you know that you were fucking, you know, living at my house, wearing my clothes, working for me. She was like, working for you? How was I working for you? Working how? She was like, being my fucking hoe. Okay? You were running these streets. She was escorting. She was like, bitch, I ain't no fucking escort. If I was an escort, your ass wouldn't be broke right now, bitch. And she was like, you were talking shit about me last month at the club. Erica's like, what are you talking about? I wasn't talking anything about you. What are you? I wasn't saying anything about you. What are you talking about? This chick, Chris, is talking about, I'll handle your motherfucking mouth, bitch. Okay, I'm going to hit you in your mouth. Erica's like, bitch, shut your mouth. Shut your ass up. They break them up. She's like, you know what? Erica's like, I'm going to come to your household. All right, I got you. They break Erica apart. Break Chrissy apart. Chrissy's like, yeah, I'll check that bitch again. Chrissy, where did you check? Where did you check? Okay, because she was fine. And she said that she would come to your house and whoop your ass. So how exactly is she scared? I just want to know. I'm a little confused. Anyways, after that, yeah, I'm not feeling that heavy, Chrissy. After that, it's Mendeecees and Yandy. Mendeecees tell Yandy, me and him in the park. She's like, I'm, I'm nervous. Last time he told me, meet me in the park. You know, he ends up telling me he was going to jail. So I'm nervous what he got to tell me. He gets out, he's like, what's up, you know, I got a little trip set up for us, I got all your clothes packed. She's like, you don't even know how to dress, you don't even even know how to dress damn old mirror. How you gonna, uh, you know, get my clothes together? He's like, look, just get in, we're gonna go on the trip. They get to Las Vegas. He, you know, they, they got a nice little suite, he set it all up. They in the limousine afterwards, she's like, I'm so proud of you. I'm proud that you even set this up. You know, I set everything up. And he's like, yeah, you know, I really love you. And he starts talking in circles. And, you know, I love you. I know you love me. And I just want to know, like, will you marry me? And she was like, huh? You're so crazy. And he's like, will you marry me? And she was like, come on. I was like, bitch, what kind of damn, like, you supposed to say yes, be happy, like, you sound like, like, all right, like, come on, nigga, you get on my nerves. Really? Really, Andy? Okay, so I'm not right about that. They go to the chapel and start taking vows, and, you know, when the, the part I do comes up, she's like... I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I can't. I'm feeling like maybe she doesn't feel right because she has a close relationship with her mom. Her mom is not there. She just doesn't feel right getting married without her mom being there. And, you know, Mendeecees know how close that is. You know, it don't seem like he gets along that well with her mom. He should know that she needs her mom there. Okay, so that's what I believe that is. They'll get through it. They're still together. So, that's it for this episode of Love and Hip Hop New York. This was a long ass review, which of course I had to mention everybody introduced. Everybody, all that bullshit. Anyway, so 1K subscriber gift giveaway. You must like, share, and subscribe. And you know what, y'all? Thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate y'all. Of course, I will try to put the link to the full episode up when it is available. Alright? So, thank y'all for watching and take care.